Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Git repository and be able to uh, clone that repository. Or, you know, or if you're used to the SVN world, we would call it checkout. But in uh, in the world of Git, you would have people clone your your repo. So before we start. First thing we want to know by doing a simple IF config on that machine, you'd want to get your IP address of your server, or if this is an outside server, you know, if it's set up to have a domain name, you can, uh, you know, just use the domain name. But so once we have that, let me come in here. We are going to. Come here and actually let's make a new one. Let's so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a directory. We'll just call it git repo. Now whatever the direct this this directory name that you create, that is going to be the project name. So you might want to do git repo dot git. So now what you're going to want to do is come into this directory. We're going to want to type git bear anish. All that does is it just initializes an empty repository. So that's pretty much um, on the server side. Uh, as far as if this is a new machine, you don't have git installed. Uh, it's just as simple as it's just as simple as that and the way the way that a lot of people will do this is this is the point where some people will set up a authentication key so they can just easily do this without any passwords but I'm not going to go that route uh, I'm just going to just go the standard when I do anything or try to connect to that server, it'll just, you know, put my password in. So I'm going to go over here on the Mac side. And right now, as you can see, there is a project that I have already set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do make directory. And we're going to call it the same thing as we did on the server side. Let's make sure, yep, I have that set. And then we're going to go into that directory. We're going to initialize this. Then what we're gonna do so we're going to just create a file here. So, and if you had uh, if you're if you're doing this, you could copy files into this directory whatever you'd like to do then what we're going to do is because we want to add all we're going to add so as you can see at this point you're kind of remembering back to SVN days of SVN add that's basically what you're doing then we are going to commit Now, this did not actually put those files on the server. It did not put it over here. The one thing about Git that I like is your version control, the history, is not only here on the server, but it's here locally. 
So when you do this git commit, you are actually committing this and creating history locally. Now what you need to do is we need to go and add that and push it over into the live stream. This is one of the things that I was very confused about is why these steps were here as I was learning how to use Git and as I'm still learning. So I think that's kind of a nice feature that if I'm, you know, if I'm doing work here and I have my own Git repo, if I'm home, I don't have to VPN in to keep that history going. I can actually do it all here locally. You know, don't have to worry about internet connection, anything like that. And then when I get to the internet connection, I can push that history up. So now what I'm going to do is... Now this, once you do this in this directory, you will not have to do this again. So uh, the git remote add origin, this is the user that you're going to use. If you created a particular git user, you would type git in here instead of Jake Stanzo. And I have a host set up for that, so virtual machine. Let me double check to make sure that that's right. Yes. So virtual machine, colon, the get repo dot get so if the folder name over here was Billy Bob you would type Billy Bob after the colon here the name of this folder that I'm in does not necessarily have to match the folder here if this was my work project but over here it was get work project that would work so there's no corresponds to have to stay there. So now we're going to hit enter. So all that does is that puts into the con <coughs> excuse me that puts into the config the uh, the information of where it goes when you do your push. So now you do git push origin master. and it goes ahead and adds it. So, like I said, you can set up a key to where you won't be prompted for the password, but I just like, you know, for this tutorial, I'd like to do that. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other tutorials on YouTube, or I might even make one, of how to do it so you can do it keyless. So as you can see, basically, Git goes through SSH. That's how everything's transferred is via SSH. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if we come back over here, if I come here into the config, as you can see, there's not much in here, but you really don't have to, just like in SVN, when you create an SVN repository, I never really looked into these particular folders. So uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please comment or visit my blog. Um, thank you.